Hello, I am Jan from Prague, the Czech Republic. This is Synology B Drive, a small thing we will be testing today. And as you can see here in the Alps in Austria, the weather is really terrible, which gives me a great chance to walk you through that little disc and show you what it does and how it works. Let's do it. Let me first briefly describe B-Drive and summarize its features, then I will show you everything in great detail right on my computer screen. So, the B-Drive is a smart and really fast external hard drive that is really small, which is a big part of its charm. It weighs just 43 grams and really fits in the palm of your hand, well, not to mention your pocket. It measures just 65 by 65 millimeters and it's only 15 millimeters in height. And I traveled with it to many places during the testing and its size really matters. It's really, really useful. It can function as a normal external hard drive where we store data. But it would be a pity here because it can do much more. Uh, it can back up exactly defined area of your computers. It also offers so-called synchronization, which uh, is, for example, very useful when I would be editing videos in different places and I just need to have always the latest versions of the files. And then uh, various parameters can be also set. For instance, uh, it can work with older versions of the file, so you can prevent disasters when you need to go back in time and dig up some older version of a file. And B Drive obviously can also back up your photos from your smartphone. Uh, and you can either simply back up all your photos or select just to back up the new ones. So all you need to do is to have B Drive plugged into your computer. And also, I really like the B Drop feature where we can directly send not only photos but also other types of files directly to the drive. Now, Let's see this all on the screen of my computer. You just can plug it into your computer as any, well, flash disk or any hard disk. And here is online installer, so let's install it. So now it's time to log into Synology account. Okay, so everything is downloaded and let us see the simple most important activity of that B drive. It means it's computer backup. So let's start it. And you can see we have two options. We can either uh, define which of these predefined folders uh, would be backed up, or we can decide and choose the folder of our own choice. So let's do it. And let's come. You can see that I have one testing folder here, and I have a couple of another folders from different tests of cameras or uh, mobiles and uh, let's see how it all would work okay so it's on desktop and it's right here so let's go here so Synology B drive test it is here we hit next and we can just check it so from folder on the computer is here folder location on B drive is here so let's do it and here we go, you can see that uh, files were <laughs> being backed up and now it's done, it's completed. And uh, we can see here that uh, on that main dashboard, you have some key information. And the recent activities actually means that we've just used the, the, the uh, first function of B drive, which is computer backup. It has here its own specific settings. So once again, he was com computer and this was backed up. And what really matters is that we have some interesting advanced settings here. So if I just hit it, the most important one, I believe, is your ability to keep up to five file versions, which can be really useful for, well, when you're, when I would be editing some photos or working with some documents. So that is really important, but let, let us just keep the one current version for that moment. Then you have some other security options, so to say. For instance, you are able to keep archive files which were deleted. Um, as this dialogue explains, basically if you on the synchronized or in the backed up folder delete something, in the B drive would move it to an archive file section. So it's really good because you again are 
partially protected uh, against some misfortune in that respect. And then you have the option to exclude files. Uh, for instance, if you would have some really huge files or videos, you can exclude it. The same, you can by default prevent B drive from backing up some temporary files or simply pretty much any files you would define here. So please do not forget that you have these advanced settings and uh, you can check what was happening here on the main dashboard. Then we have second important option, which is file synchronization. Well, what does this mean? Uh, we've seen that uh, we can back up what you actually want to back up from computer to B drive, but then you can have a folder which would be working both ways. So for instance, it would be really important for me when I'm working with a lot of video files and between different computers. So you might have one important folder for your homework and then you can be sure that thanks to that software you are able to bring exactly the state of the video or pretty much anything to your computer and so on. So and again the options are two. Uh, you can let B drive to create the name and location of the folders or we can just decide let's do it manually. So let's do it manually. And uh, well, we can create a new folder. We can do it uh, here and on desktop. So create new folder. Let's say sync firm. So this would be the key folder for us. It's here. I can just locate it here. And then we need to define where on B file would that be happening. So we, again, we can sync on B drive. Right, confirm. So, and what would be happening now? You can see that you can be sure that everything will be safe. As nothing's there so far. So let's just try it. Let's just, for instance, take that photo from my Tuscany trip and let us move it to the sync file. Right, so I just did it. And so we have that synchronized file here and immediately it jumped to that new folder here on B drive. So you can see that would be the file here on the hard drive and that would be the same file here uh, on B drive. So again this is very useful and can work under many many scenarios and let's see what happened here. Yes you can see it, file sync and this is it. And of course, again, we have some more options and let's see advanced settings. Advanced settings, again, allow us to keep only one version or two versions or up to five versions. It means it's the same like in the case of a computer backup. But then please do not forget to set this update. Which direction do we want to sync? Um, you can, as you see, uh, sync from computer to B drive or B drive to computer or two way, which probably makes bigger sense because uh, as I said, in my scenario, I would be probably moving some photos, edited photos, edited footage uh, between different computers. So again, it makes sense. And again, we can limit it by file size or uh, decide that we just do not want to do that with some types of uh, files, which I just would, no, would not be doing here. Right, and now I have two more folders here with my testing of Canon in Tuscany. So let's let us move it to Synology B drive test and Samsung photos. So now I actually updated this uh, file which is here in the computer and immediately as you can see it got synchronized to the uh, B drive. Also, what is interesting, if I now click on it, you can see that all these files are marked with these little greenish things. So uh, again, now we are in the computer. So you can be sure that uh, if you just go through a lot of data so that you can easily check if all these things are uh, synchronized and safely backed up. So this again would be really, really, really important. And, and uh, I really think you should use this as much as you can.
Right, so we have computer backup, we have file synchronization, and then there is that important third option, what to do with uh, your B drive. And it's, as this name suggests, obviously mobile photography and mobile transfers. So let's do it. And now it asks us to download the application. Let us connect it. So here is the app scan i can scan this code and here we go perfect and as you can see we can back up all photos or we can back up new photos only which i would do right now and uh, the other options are that i can select if i want to because i'm using an iphone the original would mean hive but I think I'll just go for this option, which is uh, just marked, which means compatible format JPEG. And let us see, For uh, let me just do a very short photo of this B drive lying here on my, <laughs> my desk. One, two, three. And as you can see, three items are now going to be backed up directly to my computer. You can see there are, you can follow it here in the application or you can see it directly here on my desktop. Also, what you can see that we are able to select uh, if we want or do not want to back up new videos or uh, we can ask the system to uh, get rid of duplicates, which might be useful. And here we go, you can see it's being backed up successfully. And if we now go back to the B drive, first we can see mobile transfers here. If we'll go here, we can see that we have another options here, uh, another folder here, mobile backups. And mobile backups, iPhone photos. So these are the photos we've just sent directly to B drive. What is important to note that you are able to pair more smartphones to one B drive, which again opens a lot of opportunities for maybe a small teams which need to collect uh, photos on one location, one space. Or of course, the, the, the simple most important or straightforward mission would be just to back up your family photos, your travel photos, and maybe just to create an additional backup uh, instead of your cloud storage. Or, well, if you are brave enough, <laughs> you can even uh, use this as an alternative of uh, storage in cloud. And there is one more important thing, which is right here, and it's called B Drop. Please do not overlook this because it's just amazing tool, which works um, in a similar manner, like, uh, for instance, uh, AirDrop. You just hit this and you decide, okay, I just like to send some photos directly to my computer or B drive. So I can decide, let's go for that beautiful animal. I just hit add and it's there. It's being sent. And here we go. You can see that that little thing has just moved directly to B drive and it's just here. And you can also see it's, it's, it's been noted here in the system. And if I go here to our main folder, you can see that we have not only now PC backup, mobile backup, synchronization and a new folder B drop. I really liked it a lot. So thank you so much for your attention and I wish you good luck. I'm Jan from Prague, the Czech Republic.